Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. In this lesson, we're going to look at one of the most confusing words in the English language, and that is the word use. Okay, let's look at some examples. I used to go to the gym. Have you gotten used to the cold weather? I used chopsticks for the first time yesterday. Okay, now the first thing I want to tell you is that used to is pronounced used to. Okay, this D disappears. Listen to me how I say these sentences. I used to go to the gym. Have you gotten used to the cold weather? I used chopsticks for the first time yesterday. Okay, now you can hear that here I put the D on, but here they disappear. And that's because here we have the word to, and there we don't have the word to. Okay, so let's look at the most common meaning of the word use. Okay, I used chopsticks at the Chinese restaurant. So here we say this word, the, or the sound D, because we don't have the word to, right? I used chopsticks at the Chinese restaurant. Really easy, right? You use something. So what kind of nail polish do you use? Okay, now let's look at another meaning for this word. So I used to know Arabic. That means in the past I could speak and understand Arabic, but now I can't anymore. Okay, I used to know Arabic. I used to be a janitor. A janitor is someone who cleans and takes care of a building. Okay, we used to be friends. What happened? It means in the past we were friends, but now we're not really friends anymore. What happened? Okay, let's take a look at another meaning for this word. So it can also be uh, mean to be accustomed or adapted to something. Okay, have you gotten used to Canadian winters. Have you gotten used to Canadian winters? It means are Canadian winters normal for you now? Or are you still walking around? <laughs> Maybe you walk around outside without a jacket. That means you're not used to them. Because in Canada you need to wear a big jacket, you need to wear a toque. In Canada we call those hats that keep your ears warm. We call those toques. So if you come to Canada, it's really important that you get a, a really big jacket and a nice warm toque. Okay, so I'm used to getting up early for work. It means getting up early for work is normal for you. Giving up coffee will be hard for me because I'm used to drinking four cups a day. Okay, we're getting used to being empty nesters. Okay, empty nesters are parents whose kids have grown up and left home. Okay, so when the last kid is in high school and preparing to go to university, the parents will probably start talking about becoming empty nesters. All their kids are gone. Okay, it must be pretty scary for parents to become empty nesters, right? Because they've had their kids living with them for so many years and then suddenly their house is empty. That must be a really difficult transition to make. Okay, a nest is the place where a bird lays its eggs. So when the eggs hatch and the baby birds fly away, then the mother and father bird become empty nesters. Okay, that's where we get this term from. Okay, so let's take a look at all these three meanings in one sentence. Okay, I used to be used to using a jackhammer back when I worked construction. Okay, a jackhammer is a really loud tool. Okay. So if you hear a loud noise coming from a building, it's probably someone using a jackhammer. When I lived in China, I'm not joking, every single building had a jackhammer in it. You, like if you're walking down a street, you could hear like 10 different jackhammers. Oh, there's a jackhammer in that building, a jackhammer in that building, and that building, just so loud. Every building in China is under construction. It means you can't really live anywhere peaceful and quiet. Everywhere you go, you hear, Trrr. I lived in 
three different places in China, three different apartments, and all of them were so loud. Like the people right above me, or beside me, or below me. That was probably the most challenging thing about living in China, just getting some peace and quiet. Anyway, so this sentence means, um, in the past, when I worked construction, I was comfortable using uh, a jackhammer, but now I don't really know how to use a jackhammer anymore, okay? I used to be used to using a jackhammer back when I worked construction, but now I don't really know how to use it anymore. Okay, so I want you to try to make three sentences with the three different meanings of this word that we talked about in this lesson, okay? And post your answers in the comments right down there, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.